Hey, this is Eric with Program with Eric.com, and today we're going to look at Aurelia. We're going to look at the router this time. Before, we had talked about the Aurelia Hello World program, and today we're going to go one step further. So if you remember from the last video, I, we created this Hello World program. So if we run it, and we open up our Chrome browser here and reload it, if everything loads here, we'll get a welcome to Aurelia and then we have just this, this simple input here and a function method that just displays Eric input so we can take a look real quickly if we go to source we have an HTML file and this HTML file has a trigger this form will get every time you press the button it will trigger this submit that will trigger the submit method that's in our app.js file in our view model and then we have these different binded values for last name and first name and then this full name here that displays both so what we want to do now is we're going to go ahead and take one step further and we want to create a, a router put a router in here so let's install a few things we'll install the Aurelia router which will be needed we're going to install Vont Awesome. And finally, we're going to install Bootstrap. So, just some quick things that we need to make sure that we have everything. And if you ever wonder where this gets installed, if you look at the config.js file in JSPM, it shows the paths for GitHub and NPM packages. So, JSPM slash GitHub, NPM. So, for example, if we wanted to take a look, we can go to Packages, NPM, Font Awesomes here. Uh, so, the easiest way, so what we can do now, since we have everything installed, let's go ahead and move this app.html to app uh, to welcome.html. And we're going to move this app.js to welcome.js. And we're going to create a new app.js file, and this time we're going to include a router in it. So let me, I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste it from my other screen here. Set paste in here. Great, so this is how you set up a router inside Aurelia. We configure a title at the top, and then we map each individual route. And so the first part here is where it's going to show up. So this first part shows that this is the default route. We can actually, I can better illustrate it if we take a look at the documents. In the documents you can see here, the route, this is the pattern when match will cause the router to navigate to this route. Second part's the name, then the module ID, and then the title, and then you can set it nav on or off. So. Basically, we're having a welcome route here. Since we already set it up. Now, let's do the HTML. And I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste some code here. Again. And once again, remember that your view always has to have these template tags opening and closing. And then, remember how we installed Bootstrap and Font Awesome before? We can add that to our HTML using this require, kind of like an import. But it's in our HTML, and we just specify where it's at, bootstrap slash CSS bootstrap, or font awesome. And then since we're using bootstrap, we can use this nav. We can put all this different classes, nav bar default. And then we have font awesome for awesome for our fonts. Remember, whenever time you're trying to get properties outside of your app.js file, you can use this dollar sign and curly bra brackets. Router.title will get the, ra the title that we created in the app.js file. And then we can use things like li repeat for to repeat items. And we're going to repeat every single row of our router.navigation. We're also going to check to see if that is active or not. And if it is, we're going to add the active class. So that way we know which route we're in. And then we're going to add the title in there. And also really important, this router view tag, this tells Aurelia where you're going to render your route. So this is where the welcome view model is going to be rendered, view and view model.
So that should be it. Let's go ahead and run it. Open. Oops. I'll give it a second. Great. So now we have our welcome here. And we can still say hi, bye. It works as it, like as it did before. Uh, if you look in the inspector, you can also get an idea of what it's doing. If you look at this console, it loaded everything we needed. And then it uh, loaded the resource for the welcome. So let's do one more thing. If we go into the source and then look at the app.js file, we can add another route. They're separated by commas here. And we'll have the second route called hi, for lack of a better word. It's going to be our hi route. I'm going to call hi. We're going to load the ah hi. And we're going to put the title hi, does this work? And just to do this quickly, we're going to take our HTML and copy it to hi to HTML. Welcome.js to hi.js. So now we'll go hi.js. We'll call this hi. And we don't care about submitting anything. We're just going to have a heading that says hi route. And then we'll go into our HTML and we'll just delete this triggers and everything form we don't care about. We'll just make sure the heading shows up. So now we have the second route. We'll load the server again and we'll refresh. And it's starting. Okay, great. So now you can see we have two routes here. We have the welcome route and hi does this work route and we don't have much else listed here and we could probably see if we can make this show up look at hi html and we can have four of them in here Load it again. There it is. I think it, the, the first H2 was behind the top here. Or wasn't showing, but we got it here. Now we have iRoute. Everything seems to be working. Great. So if you have any questions, leave a comment below. And uh, if you have any, if, please also check out my cookbook, my Amber.js cookbooks, in the links below. And thanks, and have a great day.